they tried to medicate me they i was exhausted they wrongly diagnosed me and they 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 when i asked them how much lithium did you want to put me on exactly it took them four days to answer because they were embarrassed when he was talking about yo i you know i went in for two pills and the seven pills that's real you got within your household go on with your children go on with your wife you go on with your husband people die people around them Recently, the news broke that Jamie Foxx had been hospitalized due to a medical complication. The internet has been in a frenzy ever since to find out what really happened to their idol. Well, Jamie himself revealed to the authorities that his life is in grave danger. Given the fact that prior to the incident, Jamie spoke out about Diddy's sexual parties are very suspicious, especially after he agreed to the claims Kanye West has made about addiction. Buckle up, guys, because you're in for a rough ride. So let's get into it. Sources at the hospital say that Jamie has spoken to the police. The Grammy Award-winning actor explained that his medical complication was not natural, but because someone is after him. His explosive remarks have unsettled many of his fans. One of them reported on Twitter, Jamie Foxx told the cops somebody is trying to kill him. I'm telling you, man, it's like they have a timer of these celebs' lives. I believe him. Well, at first glance, it may seem like the death threat claim is really pushing it, but TMZ reported that Jamie was in a very critical condition, and many thought that he actually might not make it. His friends and family reportedly flew in from overseas to be with him. Bad enough that family members from out of the, outside of Atlanta, there were some in Atlanta, but family members from outside flew in and rushed to the hospital to be by his side. T.I., the rapper, has come forward claiming that there is definitely something going on behind the scenes because Jamie's health crisis is not natural. Jamie was speaking out against Diddy and his celebrity mafia. T.I. concluded that Jamie Foxx had them by the balls, so they tried to shut him up. You got sh that you don't want to know, and I'm going to find out. In the light of T.I.'s claims, fans speculate that there must have been some Illuminati crap that was presented to Fox and the man stood his ground against it. Maybe that's why he's facing such dire consequences. Another fan commented, I felt that he said no to something and that's why he had that stroke. This is a fairly healthy man that stays out of the way. They unalive these celebs, make them go broke, take away work just so that they submit. Anyway, Kanye West also alluded to the fact that the pills prescribed in such cases are filled with a large amount of lithium that dissolves the brain. The substances are very addictive and slowly affect a person's critical thinking ability as well. He explained that elites tried to play the same trick on him. When I asked them how much lithium did you want to put me on exactly it took them four days to answer because they were embarrassed about the amount although we know that medical emergencies are quite common among the celebs the circumstances surrounding this one are quite obscure the comedian turned actor did quite a few bold things that have made him stand out among others the celebrity had started to drop explosive detailed bombs about diddy's infamous parties jamie explained he was a diehard fan of diddy's awesome music so he used to follow him around in the hollywood scenes Jamie even said that Diddy was so famous that when he would come to Los Angeles, the clubs would be inaccessible for Jamie and other celebrities. He told this to the host on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. He would come from New York to L.A. He oh, opened, I see. And I couldn't even get in the club because he was so famous. But Fox confessed that he did play a trick on Diddy by pretending that he was a videographer at a party organized by Diddy in an attempt to become associated with him. I popped out the town car with a camera and said, yo, Puff, yo. They later became acquainted when Diddy told him about his million dollar party and Fox challenged him to organize the same party in under a few hundred bucks. Yo, Playboy, this party costs a million and a half dollars to throw. I'm like, you are out of your mind. <laughs> and I said, Puff, I'll throw you a party for 400 bucks. Even though their relationship was going strong, as soon as the revelations hit the media, things started getting off the rail. The word on the street is that Jamie's substance addiction also stemmed from Diddy's infamous parties. Though they lack evidence to back the claim, well, Kanye has recently stood up to the addictions that chain celebrities to the inner circles. Kanye revealed that Hollywood elite pull strings and hook them on addictive medications to control them. You understand that if I had taken the medication, I would not be here to add to that, Fox also admitted that he had a series of medicinal addiction episodes himself after being associated with Diddy. I know Kanye don't come from a, a, a bad place. Right. And, his, and when he talked about the drugs, the mental drugs, I've had an episode of that. Now that being said, we also know that Diddy is known for his wild parties in Hollywood. 
Keef D, a well-known mafia gang member, has said on record that Diddy's parties were downright satanic. He alluded that Diddy himself is affiliated with the rumored Hollywood elites. You saying that, you saying the whole party was weird. What did you see at the party that made it weird? I mean, I'm confused. I guess it was the Illuminati. Jaguar writes, who is known for her enthusiasm to expose the Hollyweird, has also backed up Kanye on his claims. She believes that Kanye is saying the truth, but people brush him off by calling him insane. You are so willing to just write Kanye off as insane, but telling everybody exactly what they don't want to hear. Additionally, she's also suspicious of Diddy's strong, invisible backing to the industry. She wonders why did all of the great artists he started with, including Kim Porter, Andre Harrell, and others are six feet deep, but nothing has ever happened to him. Has Puffy ever been in a coma? Has he, has anything happened to him? And that is not even the most disturbing part. Jag was closely related to all the former Uptown records and revealed that all of them were working on writing a tell-all book before they ended up dead. You want to know what they all had in common, though? The survivors and the, and, and the late of Uptown records, they were all writing tell-all books. Now, fans believe that Diddy has had a hand in everyone's death, but they fail to understand why this goon treads so freely in the world, when intelligence agencies should just lock him up. For the life of me, I can't imagine why the FBI doesn't have their eye or a file on Diddy. When Kim Porter died and Diddy didn't like the autopsy results, then the doctor ended up dead. How many bodies have to show up with Diddy involved? On top of Diddy's fallout with Jamie, he's also not on good terms with T.I.P. Tensions between King of the South and rap mogul Diddy heated up after the Bad Boy Records CEO blasted club patrons for not indulging in Ciroc vodka consumption. The altercation turned into a vodka war when Diddy was allegedly taunted by an attendee drinking Grey Goose instead of Ciroc, which Diddy promotes heavily. After Diddy threw what seemed to be ice cubes around and he started dissing everyone and everybody. Fun fact, the party was organized by T.I. and he had spent some heavy bucks on it. T was really annoyed by Diddy's brawl and told him off in front of everyone. What's going on in this I'm gonna tell you like this. You will not my 100 million up for nothing in this motherfucker. I don't give a what's going on. I ain't for that fight. I will get the fuck on out of this bitch and let y'all have it. I've done enough time. Ain't nobody else in this talking about fighting and having did time. I ain't trying to do it. Puff, you got too much money for that. When the dust settled down a bit, Diddy took to the internet and said his piece while repeating the word sorry, but never apologized for his behavior. I feel like only a true man steps up to the plate and people may not agree with his position. And that man says, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all I may have offended. We're sorry for being the best. I am sorry that I came out with these flavors that taste so good. I am sorry that the competition sales are down and we're up. There's nothing I could do about that. Nothing I can do about the way your vodka tastes. I am sorry that I'm coming to you live from a bubble bath. I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. This tastes good. Even though this incident wanes in comparison to Fox, we can safely infer that Diddy is a selfish man with very twisted values. So we can expect anything from him. But thankfully, even after a near-death brush, Jamie is on a road to recovery. The Idol's daughter took the delightful news to Instagram. Corinne Fox released the following statement. We wanted to share that my father, Jamie Fox, experienced a medical complication yesterday. Luckily, due to quick action and great care, he's already on his way to recovery. And much anticipated Fox's latest film, Back in Action, stars the returning actress Cameron Diaz, who took an eight-year hiatus from acting before being coaxed out of retirement by Fox. Her last film was 2014's Annie, which also starred Jamie. The on-screen duo previously also starred alongside each other in 1999's Any Given Sunday. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.